How's it guys? I just wanted to make a video addressed to the newer players. Um, I briefly touched in my uh, beginner's guide on how to make money. Um, one of my favorite ways is to do cafe orders. So let's go have a look. These are the current cafe orders. So what I like to do is take a screenshot so you can refer to them while you're fishing because uh, I'll always forget. Uh, what I need need to fill so you just check your screenshot All right, let's let's head down and let's go catch some fish One of my favorite places to fish on Mosquito Lake is right here at this little pier we just Pull out our rods Send our bait to the bottom It's got 80 centimeter depth on the float I'm using maggot and worm. Almost everything will go for both of those. And you can catch almost everything here. So I'm going to fish and I will get back to you once I've caught everything needed for the cafe orders. Right, I'll fish for a bit. So let's go see what our fish are worth. Then we'll we'll pick the crucians simply because I have so many of them. I just caught an absolutely massive amount. Let's sort them by weight. Now look here, that's thirty-eight grams. It's point zero three silver. That is a pathetic amount of money and then we come here to the ones with the, the green tag this is a record fish and it is valued highly this is worth quite a, a bit more it's it's 0.43 and so on and then you, you get the bigger ones they start getting to one silver and so on and then we go look at our cafe orders they want 530 gram crucian carp. Now you, you remember it was 0 0.03 silver for one. So five of them, it wouldn't even make one silver. And yet they're offering 10 silver for five. This is why the cafe order is the my, my favorite way to make money, especially on Mosquito Lake. So we are gonna go sort them by weight. Take the smallest ones. One, two, three, four, five. And now we've got ourselves ten silver. As simple as that. And we do the same with the perch. We sort them by weight. One, two, three, four, five. We've got another ten silver. Rich, I don't have enough of those. I need to catch another one of those. Big crucians. They went from three hundred and fifty grams. So once again we'll sort by weight. One, two, three, four, five. And they went six. Six. Twenty silver. Can we do anything else here? No. And we just need another one of those. These two are very easy to get and look how much they pay. Uh, I will show you where to get these two. Uh, let's go. But as you saw there, I made quite a lot of silver. Let's just let's just check. I want to see something. I have a bunch of other fish. Uh, Chinese sleeper are very valuable. Um, there I have one rough. We can add. We have. Ah, okay, let's see. 
50 silver for the rest of my fish. So you make a lot of money with your cafe orders and whatever you that the the cafe doesn't want, you can still make money on. So let's go and I'll show you where to catch rough and where to catch bleak because those are actually on the, the cafe orders quite often so it's good to know where and they they're pretty consistent in in their location okay right here if you cast just beyond this boat let me just take this you cast beyond the boat over there this is better with a feeder rod but you can still use a float rod uh, telescopic that's where you can find rough but rough uh you know, way better to catch at night you, you you do get a, a few during the day but i wouldn't even try okay that's the rough spot and you have a little little tip about bleak they love lily pads so whenever you see lily pads you can throw a, a line in and, and see if you can catch bleak okay this is my favorite place to catch bleak you'll just come here with your float rod they love flies but currently they also like pearl barley so you can throw that in and then you're gonna just throw just beyond the, the lily pads uh, try not to cast in in the lily pads because there's a very good chance you'll snag and then you'll break your line. So you just do that. But you're gonna for bleak, you're gonna want to fish on the surface. Like that. 18 centimeters. Then you're just gonna put it over there. And then uh, bleak and rough are actually worth quite a lot of silver as well. So that's what you want to do. Uh, another spot. You can, you can try here for bleak. And here. And here. This spot right here. Is another great spot for rough. You're going to. Uh, it's best to use feeder rods. Where's my feeders? Okay, that's one. Okay, you're going to clip your line. You hold the control key. And then you're going to press the plus key on your number pad until it says 10. And then you cast that. That means you clip the line at 10 meters. It won't cast further than that. And then you just close and you set it up. And once again, rough or best caught at night. So now, another important thing to remember is that you can fish out a lake you catch too many fish and they'll stop biting that's just the way this game works so you switch to another lake you go to winding you go to oldberg whatever and then you look at their cafe orders and then you go fish like you already know now how to catch bleak so if you see a cafe order for bleak then you say, okay, no matter what the map, you can cast by lily pads and see if you can find them there. Now, they won't always be there, but that's where they usually like to live. So anyway, I hope this little bit of information helps you guys out. I know it's a bit bit difficult to make money in the beginning. And, and there's lots of gear to buy. So I, I really hope this helped you out. So anyway, cheers guys. Take care.